Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another updated video. Uh, this one is how to configure binary sensors and template switches in Home Assistant. I think binary sensors are great. Um, you can use them for all kinds of stuff. I like to use them uh, for command line sensors. Uh, so if I want to monitor my services that I'm running in Home Assistant, um, so if I want to monitor uh, services like MQTT or HA dashboard or some of those like that, um, I'm able to do that with a command line binary sensor uh, and it works great. It lets me know if it's on or off. Um, and of course I can set up an automation to send me an alert or something like that. So for binary sensors, that's, a, that's my main reason for using them is uh, for command line sensors. Um, template switches are also great. Um, they can be used for all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you want to combine, say, a sensor and some scripts all into one. So if you have a device that maybe has a, a script to turn it on and then a separate script to turn it off, and then of course you have a sensor to monitor it as well, then you can combine all that into a single template switch to where, uh, of course, the switch will show whether it's on or off. And then, of course, you'll have, you know, one button to turn it on and off. And then you can hide all those other components to where basically you're combining all three things into one. So, I mean, there are other uses for those as well. But, uh, again, that's my main reason for using template switches. Uh, I think they work great. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So, basically, in this video, we're going to cover three things. Uh, we're going to go with binary sensors shell commands and template switches and i will make a note on the shell commands uh, if you didn't see my video uh, before about how to set up your home assistant user id to not have to type in a password for pseudo commands you probably want to have that for these uh, shell commands that i'll be using just because the shell commands will not work if uh, you are prompted for a password because home assistant is not going to be able to do that All right, so let's edit my binary sensors.yaml file, and I'm going to add a binary sensor down here for my MQTT service. So basically, I'm setting up a sensor that will monitor whether or not that service is running or not. So, of course, the platform is going to be command line. And I'll put all this in the description, as always, so you can copy and paste it. Uh, I'm just going to call it Mosquito because that's the name of the service that I'm running. And the command I'm using, of course, is just a uh, systemctl status command. So we're going to do uh, sudo systemctl status uh, mosquito.service. And I'm going to I'm going to awk that a little bit just so that I only look for one specific word. Uh, so basically I'm only going to be looking for whether or not it is running or it's dead. And you can run this command just from the command line if you want to see what it looks like and what it returns. Uh, device class is going to be connectivity. Alright, so if it's on then that, that command should return running. And if it's off, it should return dead. And that is it for the binary sensor. Let's go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and restart Home Assistant so that you can, uh, so I can show you what that looks like on the web front end. So I'll do a sudo systemctl restart home assistant.service. 
All right, so we're here on the front end. Uh, let's just go over here and look at our uh, sensor that we have set up here. So there it is, Mosquito. And as you can see, it's currently running because uh, I use it all the time, obviously, for my MQTT. Um, and that's really it. That's what it, the sensor itself will look like, just like a regular sensor. Um, nothing special. So let's show how we're going to use that in conjunction with some shell commands uh, to uh, create this template switch. So next, uh, we're going to set up a couple of shell commands. So I'm going to edit my shell command.yaml file. Scroll down here to the bottom. I'm going to add in a couple of more. We're just going to say start mosquito. Should be able to just put this in quotes. And I'm going to say start mosquito.service. We'll do the same thing for stop. All right. So we have a command to start it and a command to stop it. Let's go ahead and save that. And now let's edit our uh, switch.yaml file. And go down to the bottom of this and we'll do the same thing. We're going to create a template switch. See the platform will be template. And we'll go ahead and set the scan interval to five. That's just how often it's going to check to make sure what uh, what the status of this uh, switch is. We'll call this one uh, Mosquito. That's kind of what we've called everything else. We'll stick with the same naming scheme here. And we can give it a friendly name. Uh, we'll just say Mosquito Service. All right, now this is where we kind of do our templating. So we're going to use the uh, value template here to monitor that binary sensor that we just created. So we want to know what the state of that sensor is. And again, I'll put all this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. All right, so to turn it on, we're going to call that shell command. So we'll say service. Shell underscore command. This will be dot uh, start mosquito because that's what we used as the name of our uh, shell command. And we'll do the same thing for turn off. Shell underscore command dot stop mosquito. And that is the end of that uh, template switch. Let's go ahead and save that. Now we can uh, restart Home Assistant again uh, for the changes to take. We'll give that a second to come back up, and then we'll uh, we can move over to the web front end and uh, see what that looks like.
All right, so here we are on the web front end. You can see there's the mosquito switch there. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. It'll take it a second. So you'll see it flip back on momentarily until the status updates for the sensor. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, but it should be fairly quick. And there it is. You can see now it shows that it's off. And you can see up at the binary sensor that we had up there, it shows that it's off as well. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to switch it back on. This should be calling that start mosquito shell command. And again, it'll take it a second to come on. And there you go. You can see the service came back on. And even if you look at the binary sensor up there, you'll notice that it's back on as well. So, uh, we have basically combined three things into one by using the two shell commands and a binary sensor. Now I have them all combined into a single switch, which I think is pretty cool. You can use it for all kinds of stuff like that. Um, this was just one example of how you could use it. So I think it's a great uh, way to combine things and clean up your web front end a little bit. So just to recap everything that we did, uh, we went over binary sensors, um, shell commands, and template switches. That is the end of this video. Uh, guys, if you like it, um, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions uh, about the video or anything at all, just uh, hit me up in the comments below. And if there are any videos out there that you're looking for that I don't already have created, just let me know as well in the comments, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, thanks a lot.